Hi there, these comments are for AR. I'm just using your initials for privacy purposes, and I am Michael, the founder owner and the materials writer of all of your lessons at the TOEFL online course, the seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. And let's take a look at your specific situation. Okay, you see, my name is uh, AR. I'm going to appear for the TOEFL IBT on the 25th of April. Kindly tell me if it's still time to join your seven step system. I will be really thankful for your prompt response. Yes, you can do that. Now, I'll be honest with you. In 20 days, you can't make a huge difference in your TOEFL score. It typically takes, for every 30 days, you can expect an increase of about 5 to 10 points in your overall score if you work hard, right? So what I'm going to do here is I will put a link in the email to my 30-day TOEFL study guide, which will give you a good... Um, some good practice over the next three four weeks and what you can do is complete as many of those lessons as you can and that should help you to improve your academic English language abilities and probably the most useful thing that I have for my TOEFL students is I do have a speaking speaking and writing practice test that you can complete at no additional cost my only rule is this you can complete one speaking and one writing practice test each day for the next 20 days before you take the exam. And that's probably going to be the most helpful part of my course because a lot of students, let's face it, you can study reading and listening on your own. You don't always need um, an online TOEFL course to do that, but you definitely need to get feedback from a TOEFL IBT writing and speaking specialist and you will get that in this course at no extra cost whatever this whatever the subscription fee is right now I think it's around thirty eight dollars a month you can complete up to twenty speaking and twenty writing practices over the next twenty days alright anyway thank you very much and uh, remember that I'm going to recommend maybe three specific things that you can do. If you've been watching my YouTube videos, you will know that uh, you should be reading every day newspapers, magazines, and books. Make sure you do this every day for about 45 minutes. Secondly, you should also be practicing listening. My recommendation is to focus on news, history, documentary, and most importantly, science programs. Now, as you do your routine of reading and listening practice, again with the listening, about 45 minutes, uh, get in the habit of note-taking. Try to get the main and the most important supporting points of the reading and the listening passages. Then using your notes, you can practice writing and speaking about that information. When you're writing, each week I recommend three academic summaries. Each summary should be 250 words. When you speak about the reading and the listening passages, I recommend you do about three to five 60-second oral summaries. So if you do this, you're now doing reading practice, listening practice, note-taking practice, you're doing integrated writing and integrated speaking. Do this for the next 20 days. This has nothing to do with my online course. This is just finding materials that you have an interest in. Now, if you don't have English TV and you need some listening practice on the Internet, I have three recommendations for you. You might want to write these down. National Public Radio, TED Talks, and Randall Cyber Listening Lab. These are three great websites. So in addition <coughs> to doing these two suggestions, you can go through the 30-day TOEFL study guide by completing as many of those lessons as you can over the next three or four weeks. Now remember that my main goal for you is I'm not just trying to help you get a high TOEFL score but I'm trying to help you and it will help you improve your academic English language proficiency. So if you need English for your job or if you need English for graduate or undergraduate studies at an English speaking university my online course is a perfect fit for you. So what am I saying? I'm saying is that you may want to use my course longer than 20 days because it's going to benefit you 
with your academic English language abilities. And who knows, when you take the TOEFL in 20 days, you might not reach the goal that you seek, and you may have to study after that anyway. So my recommendation is to use my online course longer than one month. I think that you'll get a lot better benefits if you do. But if not, you can just go through those lessons in my 30-day study guide, maybe doing about one to two hours every day, going through those lessons, and also doing the reading and the listening, the note-taking, writing, and the speaking practice. And you should be able to improve your academic English language abilities. All right, thank you.